so I arrived super late last night and when I got to the door I half expected her to just jump on me like how she used to <laughs> and try to like slobber all over my hands like she used to um but she's just at this point she was so sick that it took a lot for her to even get up her mom said that she hadn't gotten up all day except for to go to the bathroom but when I came in the door she got up she wagged her tail so she remembered me and she was happy to see me and that made me feel really good and then me and her mom just stayed up for the next few hours having a final night with her and talking with her and petting her and honestly I'm just so thankful that I got to spend that extra bit of time I didn't expect it because she lived 10 days longer than what the vet had said that she would so I did not expect living in a different country that I would get back here and I would get to say goodbye to her because honestly I care about her in the same way as I care about my human friends. <laughs> she's just as important to me. She's been in my life for so many years and seen me through so many different situations and scenarios. She's been there for me the whole time. The fact that I could be there with her and for her when she needed me just like I have no words for that. It was so special and I'm forever grateful that I was able to be here that her owners allowed me to be here and be a part of that because they didn't have to do that. It was clear that Sophia was ready to go. She wouldn't have had much longer left and it probably took about like, I would say like 45 minutes or so. Obviously she had no idea what was going on the entire time and she was at peace before it happened, but we all sat down around her and petted her and talked to her and had our last moments and then and then she was gone and I've never experienced anything like this before I've never we've I've we've never had to do this and I'm so thankful like I said that I got to be here for it even though it was so difficult but the fact that I could be here with her at the very end was just really really meaningful um, I'm just clearly a, a blubbering mess and I don't want this whole video to be me just like crying at you so I want to show you the good side of life with a dog the happy side so I'm here in Toronto with Charlotte which is Sophia's little dog sister and I'm gonna be here giving her all the love that she needs because she lost her big sister and her mother figure and I'm gonna show you guys what we get up to this weekend in Toronto if you're interested in that, then stick around. I promise you it will be a lot happier than this section of the video. Um, thank you guys for watching.